Hi everyone, this is Mr. Cashman in the fourth grade teaching team at Chief Charlo. Today we're going to show you how to make a basic Google slideshow. We're going to start with a fresh Google page. We're going to go ahead and sign in. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click on the waffle and down to classroom. We're going to head over and click on our classes folder and to classwork. We want to have two tabs open. One tab for our research and another tab for our new slideshow so that we can bounce back and forth quickly transferring information from our research over into our slideshow. So I'm going to open up the research page first. So I have this up and my research was on the great blue heron. Next, I'm going to go back into Google Classroom and open up the Montana bird presentation and in Google Slides. And so here I go, I've got a brand new blank slideshow and I'm gonna start with my slide one, common name. This is my title page. So the common name is the great blue heron and it's scientific name. Okay. I'm gonna hit enter and type the scientific name right underneath. And then I'm going to go down here and make sure that my audience knows who is giving the presentation. I want to make sure I center that. <clears throat> okay, now that that's set, I want to add an image. It's great to add an image to each slide just to keep your audience engaged and give a visual aid to um, the information you're presenting. In order to add a image you're going to go up to this small dark box here with two mountains in it where it says insert image click on that and go down to search the web a google search engine will pop up right on the right side and you're going to type in what you're looking for in this case it's for great blue heron and i like that first picture of a great blue heron in flight i'm going to double click on it and it will be immediately or pretty quickly transferred onto my, onto my slideshow. However, when it comes in, as you can see, the size is much larger than I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna grab it by the corner here, not by the top or the side. Um, that would distort the image and I don't wanna do that either. I'm gonna make sure that we grab it by the corner and make it small enough to include on our slide without covering any of the text. So st I still need to make this even slightly smaller and then I can move it around just a little bit. Ooh, slightly smaller yet. Okay, and now this image could be placed in a number of places. I'm gonna put it there for now. Um, one image per slide is important. Um, if you start getting too many images, that could be distracting, but certainly one image at least per slide. Um, when I want to make a new slide, I go right up here to the top left corner and click on this plus sign and a suddenly a new slide will pop up. I'm going to click in the title and before I can type in my title, I'm going to have to go back to my research page to find what slide two is all about and it says size and shape. So I'm going to type in size and shape and that's where I place the title of each slide. And then I'm gonna click down into the body. When you're presenting your information, you want to give your information in bite-sized chunks, not too much at a time. One way to show that is by using something called bullets. Um, bullets are like large dots, which tells your audience, I'm about to give you bite-sized pieces of information so that you can digest them small bits at a time. I'm going to go up here to the upper right hand corner in order to, and click on that in order to start my bulleted list. Your bulleted list should be no more than three pieces of information per slide. Um, and that's what we're going to do here. So I've started my bulleted list and I'm going to go back to my background information, my research. And it says the great blue heron stands up to four and a half feet tall. So I'm going to say that in my own words here.
Okay, great. And when I want to give a new byte of information or a new bit of information, I just hit enter or return and a new bullet pops up. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my research and I'm going to see what comes next. Oh, weighs up to five and a half pounds. So weighs up to five and a half pounds. Great, and I wanna give one last little bit of information, so I'm gonna hit enter return one last time, and it says it has long, thin legs and a very long neck. Okay, long, thin legs and neck. Great, now that my information has been um, given in this bulleted list, I'm going to add a, an image, of course, so I'm gonna go back up to this black box with the uh, uh, mountains, I'm gonna click search the web, and this is a great image here that illustrates um, exactly, well, both of these are, um, exactly what I'm hoping to share in this, in this slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the size of this image and center it. So now this is what your slides are gonna look like for slides one through 10. Slide 11 is slightly different you're going to give it a title and its title simply is video. As you can see here, it's just video. Um, we don't need any other text other than the title video because for this slide, we're going to insert a video. And in order to do that, we need to, of course, add a new slide and click in the title and we're just gonna call it video. Um, if you'd like to be more specific in how you title that video slide, that's just fine, of course. But in order to upload a video, it's similar to uploading an image, but slightly different. Um, we're going to go up to insert, this word insert, click on it, and scroll down to video. You'll see a YouTube search come up, and I'm going to type in the name of my bird and search. And I really like this idea of uh, showing my audience a great blue heron catching a fish. So I'm gonna double click on that and it'll be tr transferred here. I'd like my video to play slightly larger on the screen than it was. So I'm gonna grab it again by the corner, not by the top or the side and place it there. And that's how to make a Google slideshow in a nutshell. I'm going to show you right now for the next 30 seconds to a minute, um, an example of one that's completely finished. Um, this is a student example from last year. And um, there are some things that this student did to just make their presentation a little bit more professional looking. Um, I'm gonna go into presentation mode here. So this student added a little bit of color to their slides. As you can see here, they also added something called transitions and animations, which brings the text in from outside and it makes the slides um, change a little bit when they change from slide to slide. This person also, in a tasteful way, added a couple more photos. And you can see how they gave um, a short bulleted information there. And this is what hopefully we're going for in the long run. Those, those transitions are simple enough. In order to add a transition, you're simply going to go up here and click on transition. You're going to click here and where it says none, you can click on the arrow. And there's lots of different options for how to make slides from, move from one to the next. I hope this was so helpful for you, friends. If you need anything, you just check in with us via email. And in the meantime, have fun, enjoy this adventure of making your, um, for some of you, your first slideshow, and let us know if you need any help. Take care, have fun, bye.